Folks, welcome back to Atlas Stationers in downtown Chicago. We're coming at you live. My name is Brendan. Today, we have a very special guest, Mr. David Oscarson in the Brendan. flesh. David, how the heck are you doing? I'm doing great because I'm here in Chicago with all my friends. Love it. Love it. For those of you who have been following us for some time, you probably know David. He's been in our shop multiple times throughout the last few years. And today he is elected to bring his entire collection of beautiful fine writing instruments and folding knives, which we've never had in the shop. So what I'd like to do today, David, I'd like you to give a small introduction about yourself, talk about the process of how you manufacture and design. And then we picked out a couple pieces that we'd like for you to discuss further in depth, if that's okay. I'd be delighted to. So some of you will have heard this before. We've been doing this for almost 25 years. And a couple of things to know about the entire range of our collection, every single piece, it's solid sterling silver from head to toe. Some have gold vermeil, some don't. Mm -hmm. uh, but the engraving technique that we use on the pens is called guilloche. It's a machine operated by hand. It's a diamond cut engraving that really refracts and reflects, reflects light. So it's not a casting, it's not uh, a die striking, it is diamond cut engraved. And that really refracts the light. And the reason we wanna do that is because every color that you see here, and we've got probably what, 80 pieces here today? That's a lot. <laughs> we've been doing this quite a while now. We've got almost 40 different designs, but every single one is manufactured the same way, different stories, and we'll get, we'll get to that, the different uh, explanations of each different design. Mm -hmm. But they're all finished in what's called a hot enamel. And this is unique to us. It is a crushed glass to which we add metal oxides. We grind them together, purify it with distilled water, pour the water off. Then we take a quill and we actually paint that mixture into the areas of the pen over that guilloche engraving. We then hang the piece of silver on a wire and place it into a kiln where it's fired between 800 and 1100 degrees, depending on the color. And that glass actually will melt and fuse with the silver. When it comes out, it cools. And unfortunately, the silver cools faster than the glass and we have about a 20% failure rate. It shatters and we have to start over. When it's cool, we file it down with a diamond file. Then of course we re-enamel and re-fire and re-file three to four layers per color. So on some of these pieces on the collection that have four or five or six colors, these caps and barrels have been in the kiln 20 different times. So it's amazing. That's unique and that's what we're known for. It's very popular at the turn of the old century with Fabergé and Cartier and Van Cleef. And it's almost a lost art now. Our workshop is in London. So you see a British hallmark on each piece. This particular one here is the Celestial. And I don't know how tight you can get in on here, but Underneath that glass, that enamel, you'll see the engraving and in between each tendril of the sun, we've intentionally omitted one of the lines of engraving to emulate the heat waves coming off of the sun. Underneath the barrel on the midnight blue enamel, you'll see that some of the stars are darker and some are brighter than others. Just some subtle nuances about the collection that, you know, the longer you look, the more that you see. This is almost a sold out edition, the Celestial piece. It's one of our most iconic pieces because it's so immediately recognizable with that blazing sun. And taking its place will be the Deus Regit, which came out last Christmas. Deus Regit is Latin for God rules. And if you're curious, take a look at our website. A couple months ago, we um, revised and updated our website to include video and voiceover explaining for instance, what I just told you about the Celestial will be on there on a little video clip. You might enjoy that. That's Most of them are done now. We've got a few left to go. The Celestial is here at, at Atlas. Another piece quite different from the Celestial. Different body shape. And folks, look at that enameling. That is a liquid coffee hot enamel and a copper bronze hot enamel that we have blended to give it a glowing effect, which is completely appropriate for this piece which is a tribute to Mr. Nikola Tesla. Of course, the Tesla coil is underneath the enamel here, a rotating magnetic field, international symbol for alternating current, for which he was so famous, you know, uh, as he competed with Edison, his former employer with the direct current, 
electricity all around the cap here, the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Tesla unit of measure on the top of the cap there, and on the barrel, his first two blueprints for the electromagnetic motor. So there's a story here, 86 pieces, one for each year that he lived, a theme or a story could be um, an event, a person, or a, a, a place, and you can read about that on our, our website as well. We have something brand new for you today on the cover of Penworld. You will see this piece right here. We're also on the back cover. There's a Deus Regit with two new things. Thank you, Brandon. A live applause. Uh, this is a tribute to... Hans Christian Andersen wanted to do this for a long time. You know several of his stories, like The Princess and the Pea, Vampire's New Clothes, The Little Mermaid, and also, of course, The Ugly Duckling. And I don't know how close you can get in on here, but you've got, and this is not on video on the website yet. We've yet to film this. Down at the bottom, you have the eggshell that's cracking. So if you look at that little line of silver there, that has not been soldered to the surface. That's the original body of this silver barrel. And when we cut the eggshell pattern in the background, we have to stop the diamond, lift it up, move it over, and drop it back down every time we have a piece of what we call high-relief silver here. That's not added after, after the fact. We've got an opalescent white enamel here. And then, if you remember the story, here is the signet, the baby swan in the duckyard. He's hatched, and of course the mother is so ashamed, wished he was never born. He has a very hard upbringing, is henpecked, and finally leaves and wanders out on his own after trying to find a home. Decides that if he's going to die, he might as well die by the hand of the beautiful swans. He swims out, and as he approaches, they bow their heads. And a child says, look, mother, a new swan is here today, the most beautiful of all. And he looks in the reflecting pool and sees, of course, his reflection as the beautiful swan here. Downy feathers underneath engraved the enamel here and all the feather work underneath the feathers here on the wings. A cracking shell, hatching shell on the clip and Hans Christian Andersen's signature on the cap. My favorite part is probably this. On the gripping section, this is in Hans Christian Andersen's Danish tongue. A famous line from the story, it doesn't matter if you're raised in a duckyard so long as you know that you've been hatched from a swan's egg. There's potential for greatness that's innate in all of us. So this is just coming out now, 70 pieces in all of the colors. It'll be five colors. We have three here today. Uh, the light blue, of course. There's a monochromatic gray with black and white, and then a teal. There will be also a black, white, and red, and an all black with white. Uh, available right now, actually. It's just coming out. And, Next door to a fountain pen, fine, medium, broad, and rollerball, and everything you see here, folks, by the way. Now, last but not least, in June at the Couture Show in Las Vegas, we introduced our first collections of folding knives. Now, these are constructed exactly the same way as our pens, except we have three times the silver weight on the knife. And I don't know if I go slowly, if you can see that light refracting and reflecting underneath Guilloche work on the inside. I've got my signature engraved on the bottom scale there. The spine or spacer bar has all the British hallmarking inside, as well as the serial number. And then all of the bolts and screws, the pivot bolt, thumb studs, all made by hand in our workshop in London. Diamonds and thumb studs, of course. And if you're wondering about the blade, about the blade, it is a Swedish Damasteel stainless Damascus, a DS93X. Beautiful that our friends in Idaho are cutting and grinding, polishing and sharpening for us. Same edition numbers as the pens. You're just going to love this. There's a little release here for the lock. And just a beautiful rendition. We've done six. The sea turtle here, of course. Nikola Tesla tribute. Both sides with his signature here, the alternating current. And Ellis Island, there is also a Jacques de Molay, the Knights nice Templar that we don't have here. Take it to the limit. And the Celestial with the day and night. And that is not carbon fiber, folks. That is guilloche work and hot enamel that emulates carbon fiber. Just really beautifully done. Really excited about introducing these this fall. If you've got questions, 
give the folks here at Atlas or Brendan a call, email. He'll answer all your questions. Uh, if you've got specific questions, I'll be here till about two o'clock. Yep. And you come by the store or give us a call. I'll be happy to walk you through. Got lots to look at here, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be back in December for another date on the 15th. I the think. big holiday expo. Exactly. So I was reading a couple of the comments, um, and forgive me as I walked away for a few minutes, but if, if you haven't talked about the koi fish yet, we had a comment asking you to go over this. So please... Uh, the koi collection is, yeah, is a really beautiful example of our craft. And the reason I say that is all of this detail work in the background get all the different patterns of the, of the little ripples of the water going in all different directions. And then see these little bubbles that are coming up? So we have not soldered those on after the fact. That is the original body of the pen. So every time our diamond reaches one of those areas, we have to lift it up, move it over, and drop it back down and continue to engrave. And then we cut the pattern of all the scales and the koi fish here. Okay, so really, really difficult engraving technique here on the Koi Collection. A bamboo here in a matte finish for the clip. And our name, of course, in Japanese. Uh, 88 pieces. And then on some of the special colors, an addition of only eight pieces with this inverse with the white and the mossy black koi fish there. Just a beautiful rendition. You've got the symbol for the carp of the koi fish on the top here. And then the the reeds here on the gripping section as well. Again, a cartridge, converter, and eyedropper options on the entire collection, guys, too. That's really exciting. Uh, sterling silver, guilloche work, and hot enamel, but just a really beautiful rendition of, of the koi fish, very difficult to produce. Not as simple as some of our other designs, but really a great example of what we can do. So uh, there is a koi piece here in the store day to day, but if you want to see the different colors, come on over here and we'll walk you through it. A companion piece to the koi, of course, freshwater is the sea turtle, which is a saltwater companion to the koi collection. And here you have the sea turtles with the white, the light blue and the sapphire blue enamels all blended in each section of the tortoise shell all the little bubbles and the little angel fish above and underneath the enamel. Coral clip here and the uh, symbol for the sea on the bottom of the barrel and the symbol for the turtle at the very top. Just beautiful rendition. Uh, switching gears now from the koi, let's talk about this harvest collection. This is from 2004, folks. It's almost two decades old was our first Rob Report Best of the Best Award. Very simple, but also very intricate. Don't know if you can see this, but the outline of the kernels of wheat here in high relief, we have a basket weave pattern in the background, and then the hair of the wheat is cut right into the basket weave. It's three-dimensional, really, really beautiful. Double leaf wire down here, uh, the three heads of wheat up and three down on the harvest collection. And this has, uh, you know, Many meanings could be mean prosperity, wheat, uh, the law of the harvest, what you reap is what you sow, or about the souls of men, the field being white and ready to harvest. I believe we have one of the teal pieces right here, a special edition of eight pieces here at Atlas to look at as well. So again, a lot of different concepts. Uh, take a look at the website under the writing instruments as well, and. Um, You'll be able to hear my voiceover explain some of the things I've just talked about for each of the designs. We're still working on the last few. What am I missing, Brandon? Uh, I think we've pretty much covered. Is I that mean, good for, for now? I mean, there's yeah. a lot more to see. Lewis and Clark, there's Take It to the Limit, Magna Carta, Alexander Fleming, mm -hmm. just to name a few. If you have questions about that, call us here at the store. We're happy to walk you through it. Come see us. Yeah, so for those of you who might have any questions, you know, we'll, we'll be sure to, to post some videos. Um, we'll give you about like a minute here live to ask any questions you have for the live video. Uh, but David, what we'll do is, like we mentioned earlier, we found a lot of success in just sitting down with you and explaining an individual piece for a minute in a video. So we'll be sure to do that if you guys have any uh, pieces you want us to do in a specific yes, video, us a let us know, list. but we'll do about four or five. We'll have David explain, you know, what the details are and the inspiration, um, of the pieces are as well. So, uh, I guess, yeah, 
If you haven't yet, checked out, check out the new Penworld magazine. We do have these uploaded on our website and available in store. Right up front, uh, you can see David's newest release as well as some of his uh, additional pieces that he's created in the past couple of years. I think this one was last year. This one yep. was 2021. Or one or two, yeah. 2020, well, it's amazing. The time's flying by way too quickly. <laughs> yeah. Faster for me. It's crazy. <laughs> Take it to the limit. That's a perfect piece to describe how quickly time is going. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Alex, is there any questions real quickly before we sign off? Sorry, I know I scrolled all the way up through the chat. Yeah, let's scroll down. Okay, perfect. Alex says we are all good to go. So like I said, be on the lookout. We'll post some videos today about these individual pieces. If you want us to do a particular one, just holler at us um, you know, on the, the social media platforms or through direct messages. David, here's your time to say goodbye. Adios. So long, folks. We'll see you soon. I'll be back here December 15th. Let us know if you've got questions. Please come see us here at the store. Fantastic. Thank you all. You know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.